if we go back to our circuit over here, you know, we have this current coming in here. And if I look at the current, let me, let me just switch over to my, to my ammeter really quickly here. And I see the current is either zero when it's off, but then when it's on, it's 0.3 milliamps. So 0.3 milliamps. And so you can imagine I could, I could use, if I could send 0 0.3, 0 0.3 milliamps from my base to my, to my emitter, then this little guy inside the transistor, he's going to say, oh, 0.3 milliamps. I want to multiply that by 100, and I want to make sure that, you know, the collector to emitter current is going to be 100 times that. So he's going to try and make that 30, milli uh, 30 milliamps, 100 times 0.3. And 30 milliamps is enough to turn on an LED. And so by using a transistor, we can take that 0.3 milliamp current and essentially amplify it to this 30 milliamps. Now, in reality, an LED is not going to draw 30 milliamps, particularly if we have a resistor in line and everything. You know, the LED wants to draw 20 milliamps. But this guy's going to try and get it as close as he can. So he's going to turn this resistance down. He's going to, he's going to basically kind of move, he's going to move this, this, little, uh, this little variable resistor up to reduce the resistance to try to get as close to 30 milliamps as possible. But if the LED only wants to draw 20 milliamps, um, then he's going to have this turned up all the way. And so he's actually not going to be able to get it to 30 milliamps. He's only going to get it to, to maybe 20, to 20 milliamps. And when that happens, there's, there's kind of a word for this that you might see. It's called the, trans the transistor is, is, is um, saturated, or, or sometimes we'll say it's in saturation. And so in saturation um, is when... Basically, there's a short between the collector and the emitter. So as much current as possible will flow through there uh, because the current that is flowing through, in this case, it, maybe it's only 20, is, is less than what this guy is trying to make. He's trying to get 100 times 0.3. So he's trying to get 30 milliamps to flow, but just because of what's hooked up to this, if it's just an LED and a resistor, it's only going to draw 20 milliamps. So he's going he's gonna to turn this resistor down as much as possible and basically make this a short, and we call that saturation. Um, now, on the other hand, if this current, if the base current shuts off, which it's doing, remember, uh, remember in our circuit, if we look back at our circuit, it's either 0.3 or it's, or it's basically zero because this signal is turning on and off, on and off. So when it's 0.3 like this, then it's on. When it's zero, it's off. So if this base current coming back here, if the base current is zero, then this guy is going to want to make the, the collector current over here zero as well. And so he's going to end up turning this down. He's going to end up moving this down and trying to create as much resistance as possible. And when that happens, the transistor, we have a, we have a word for that as well uh, that you might see, and that's called the transistor being in cutoff. Not cutoff, cutoff. So the transistor is in cutoff. So down here, the, tran he's, the, the transistor is basically not passing any current from the collector to the emitter. So cutoff basically means that the collector, the current of the collector, is equal to zero. And in saturation, it means that the current from the collector is as much as, as, much as it can be. It's basically uh, maximum. It's passing, it's passing as much current as, as the circuit wants in that case. And so in this sense, this is why you see transistors sometimes, or you hear transistors sometimes referred to as switches. Um, because um, with, with a current situation like this, and actually this is going to be the case in our circuit, the transistor will either be saturated or cut off. And when it's saturated, it's just passing current through. And when it's cut off, it's not passing current through at all. Um, and so this is why you'd sometimes hear transistors referred to not only as current amplifiers, but also as switches. So in the next video, we'll... We'll take uh, everything we've, we've sort of looked at here and see if we can build the circuit.